Hi everyone, it's Melody, the nurse practitioner with Dr. Tammy's Healing Arts Centers, and I'm here today to talk about our regenerative medicine injections. This is a very exciting field of medicine where we are harnessing your body's own ability to heal itself, giving you wonderful results to reduce your pain without the need for surgery. So a lot of people ask me, what is in these injections? We have two different options available here. The first option that we have available is called PRF, which stands for platelet-rich fibrin. It is very similar to PRP, which is platelet-rich plasma. Um, this just has a little bit more structure to it. The way that it's spun is slightly differently, but the healing results are gonna be the same as what you would get with PRP or platelet-rich plasma. So with this procedure, I draw your blood, I spin it down to the natural growth and healing factors from your system, and I inject that concentrated product into your joint. Why in the world would anyone want to do that? Well, I'm glad you asked, here's why. <laughs> The inside of a joint space does not have a lot of blood flow. So when you skin your knee on the outside, for example, you start bleeding at that site. That actually releases chemicals that get picked up by your bloodstream and carried throughout your body to bring your body's natural healing abilities back to that area so you can make some new skin to cover that wound. Because the insides of your joints does not have a lot of blood flow, then as your cartilage or your cushioning gets broken down and worn out over time, there's never a signal that goes out to the rest of the body that says, hey, come fix this. So what we're doing is we're isolating that signal from your own bloodstream, injecting it directly to the inside of the joint space, and that calls your body's healing abilities to the inside of the joint so that you can repair the cartilage or the cushioning that should be there. With this procedure, it is ideal for people who have healthy immune systems. So if you have a lot of chronic medical conditions, if your body's trying to fight other things like chronic hypertension or diabetes, if you get frequent infections and you don't heal very quickly, then this might not be the right option for you. The result from a platelet-rich fibrin or platelet-rich plasma injection is only going to be as good as the health of the host. So if you are healthy, if you heal quickly, this is a great option for you and I would expect a great result. But if it takes you a long time to heal from illnesses or injuries, then you might have a lower number of naturally occurring healing cells in your system, or those cells might just be busy fighting other things, so you might not get as good of a result as the next person. For that reason, we do have another option available, and this is the umbilical allograft injection. This injection is made of umbilical cord jelly tissue that comes from a term C-section live birth delivery. So this is not associated at all whatsoever with abortion. There is no maternal DNA in this tissue, nor is there any baby DNA in this tissue. So what that would mean for you is that there's no risk of a rejection reaction like you might see with a blood transfusion or an organ transplant. What is in this tissue is naturally occurring live active healing cells, as well as other uh, growth factors, proteins, enzymes, exosomes, hyaluronic acid, all great stuff that helps your body to rebuild the cushioning that should be there in your joint spaces. With the umbilical allograft, it has exponentially higher number of growth and healing factors as compared to what I can harvest from your blood. So typically with the umbilical allograft, it requires fewer injections. You may need up to three injections if you choose to use your own blood as opposed to just one injection with umbilical allograft. Also, if you use your own blood, we expect those results to last about 12 to 18 months, depending on what all you do with your joint. If you choose the umbilical allograft, those results typically last about five to 10 years. So quite a bit more longevity with that option, just because of that increased concentration of those growth and healing factors that are available in that tissue. Um, my second most common question is how do these products work? They, all, they both work very similarly. Um, the cells in PRF or in the umbilical allograft are both naturally programmed to migrate toward areas of inflammation to repair those areas. So this is a huge advantage, especially over something like a steroid injection. For a steroid to work to its maximum potential, they have to put that steroid exactly where you hurt the worst, which is why they usually have to use some sort of radiology like an ultrasound or fluoroscopy guided injection. They also have to dig in there and wiggle it in there until they get it exactly where it hurts the worst. Oh my gosh, ouch, right? Who wants to go through that? With the products that we offer, because these cells do naturally migrate toward those areas of inflammation, I get to be a lot nicer during your injection. I don't have to jam this needle in there where it hurts the worst. As long as I get this product anywhere within a six centimeter radius of that point of inflammation, these cells will naturally migrate where they need to be. So just for your reference, we estimate one centimeter is about the width of your pinky. So about six pinky widths all the way around where this injection is placed is where we expect these cells to migrate. 
That being said, <laughs> I've done over 5,000 of these types of injections over the past five and a half years or so. And in my personal practice, I have seen cases where the cells have migrated slightly farther than that. I've had several patients that had both of their hips injected and we noticed definitive changes on x-ray in their lower back. I had one patient, we injected both of her shoulders and her hairdresser noticed new hair growth on the top of her head. I also had one patient, we injected his left shoulder and his cardiologist noticed that his damaged heart valves were beginning to repair themselves. Now, I don't see those types of results every day. Those are a couple of exceptions though that I have seen in my personal practice that show me that these cells do have the ability to migrate toward other tissues to repair other damaged structures as well. Of course, they are going to be the most concentrated in the joint where we place them. So you'll get the maximum healing benefit benefit right there in that joint. Um, another question that I get most frequently is, do I really need surgery or can these products help? I am not an orthopedic surgeon, so there's my disclaimer there. Surgery certainly has its place and there are certain cases where surgery might be your only option. However, just because you have been told you are bone on bone, that doesn't necessarily mean that surgery is your only option. I've had several patients where their knees were supposed to look like this and it looks like this instead. So they are bone on bone in one part of that knee, but in the other part, there is still some natural cushioning left. So if you have any natural cushioning left in that joint, that's what's gonna signal these cells what they're supposed to turn into. So as long as you can still move that joint, then we assume that you still have at least some of that cushioning left in there that's going to signal these cells what to turn into so that you can produce your own cushioning and even out that space. So even if you have had a consultation and someone has told you it's nothing but surgery, you know, we do consultations here as well. Um, we'd be happy to look at any images that you might have had done in the past, but I've been able to help several people that have been told that surgery is their only option. And with just one injection, non-surgical, no downtime, they don't need that surgery after all. And they're able to go out and do all these wonderful activities that they want to do with much, much, much less joint pain. Um, so what can you expect during the procedure? Well, these joint injections in procedure are very similar to a steroid injection if you've ever had one of those. So you would kind of know what to expect. You don't have to be fasting the day of. You don't even necessarily have to have another driver the day of as long as you know that you can handle injections well. Um, so when you come into our clinic, we'll get a set of vital signs. I will analyze the joint that we're going to treat just to take a look at it, make sure everything looks good, that you don't have any contraindications like a rash directly over the joint or if there are any signs of infection of the joint, then we we would treat that infection and then do your injection on another day when you have a healthy joint. Uh, but when you come in, set of vital signs, analyze the joint, we'll do the injection. We do use a numbing spray to the surface of the skin just prior to the injection. So you won't feel the stick. What you might feel is pressure inside the joint when we place that fluid. It's a small amount of fluid. So that pressure does go away pretty quickly once you start moving the joint after the injection, but there might be just a little bit of pressure when that fluid's in that little ball. After the injection, your function is going to be fairly similar to what it was when you came in. So as much as I would love to be able to do one of these injections and have all of your pain disappear immediately, <laughs> unfortunately, it does take some time for your body to be able to generate enough of this new tissue for you to be able to start to feel the difference. So most of our patients don't really notice much change until about four to eight weeks after the injection, because that's how long it takes your body to build up enough of this new tissue for you to start to feel the difference. It is going to be a gradual change. Um, my patients tell me that it's a little bit easier to get out of bed one day, or it's a little bit easier to go up or down stairs one day. Um, and it is going to be a progressive change over time. With the umbilical allograft product, the growth factors in that product stay active for a full 12 months. So that means continuing and increasing improvement over a 12 month time frame. At the end of the 12 months, these growth factors are gonna turn off so you won't have any additional joint growth. However, whatever tissue your body has developed over that time frame is gonna stay there until it wears out naturally. This is your own natural tissue. It will wear out over time, but again, we expect about five to 10 years uh, before that tissue starts to wear out. It does depend on what you do with your joints between now and then. So if you're involved in a lot of high impact activities, if you do a lot of box jumps or karate tournaments or trampoline competitions or whatever, that of course is gonna wear your joints out a lot faster than just normal low impact activities. Uh, but five to 10 years, just generally speaking, is what we would expect. So. If you have any other questions regarding these injections, please, please, please feel free to reach out to us. You can reach us by phone, by email, by text message, and I would be happy to answer any other questions that you have about any of these procedures. We want to make sure that you are comfortable that you're making the best decision for your own healthcare. So any information that we can provide to help guide you through that decision, we would be happy to do it. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that we've given you some good information and I look forward to seeing you face to face. Bye.